this is back to my earlier point about some of the the things that we're making sure that we do with the social media um, strategy and that we learn that it has really worked for us. It's important to, of course, to define your objectives and understand your audience. We know, for example, that Hispanics are really engaged with social media, so we really want to get out there. We want to do a lot of these things, but that might not make sense for everyone. It depends on the habits of the audience that you're trying to serve. Um, as I say, it makes sense for us, so we want to do the Facebook pilot project where people can ask the government questions about social security, um, about immigration, we can actually provide them with the right uh, source of information. We're the portal. So we are already are kind of doing this through our national contact center, but we want to do it in a way that is more interactive through Facebook. Uh, develop a strategy, of course. Experiment and optimize. I don't think any of us has all the answers to, to all these questions. This is quite new. And I think the beauty of it is that <coughs> I'm personally not too afraid of making a mistake. There's some of us that don't know how all of this is going to work out. It's a matter of making sure that we can learn from, from what we're doing and that we can share some of the lessons learned. And plan for success. Uh, we're going to start a smaller scale, but we're already thinking, if this grows, are we ready for that? Um, so we are already thinking, in terms of staff and resources, what's going to happen if in six months after we launch, all these people are coming to our pages? Do we have the, the right amount of people answering the questions and putting information on Facebook and engaging with constituents? And that's something to think about before you launch. Um, 